What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video. And in order to help new users, I wanted to go through a few command line utilities that can help you navigate and understand the Linux operating system a little bit better. So let's go on and hop over to the terminal and walk through these commands. They're very simple, very easy to use, but this is mainly for people that are very new to the Linux command line. And I just put together a couple commands that are simple to follow and simple to understand that I can walk you guys through to help you adjust to the command line. So let's get started. Okay, cool. So I have the terminal open on my Linux desktop. I'm using Arch and all these commands will work pretty much the same on any Linux distribution. These commands are a pre-installed utility that comes with most Linux distributions. So let's go on and show you the first one, which is the date command. And what I'm gonna do is open up the man page for each one of these commands just so you guys can get an overview of what they really are but i'm going to look at the date command right fast but let's press enter and basically what this does is it prints or sets the system date and time so let me go down and quit i'm not going to go through you know all the options and everything but let's just run the basics of the command so if we run a uh, date by itself press enter and it'll print out the date so that's a very super command, simple command. Let's go down and clear the screen and show you the next one. But the next one I wanted to show you is uptime. And so let's man that as well. Each one of these commands should have a man page. Some of them don't, you know what I'm saying? We'll see when we get to them. But uh, uptime, is one, uptime is one that I wanted to show you guys. So let's press enter. It says tell how long, tells how long the system has been running. So let's quit that. Uh, I'm gonna press Q and then just run uptime and that way you guys can see it and like I said a lot of these uh, commands have a bunch of options but I'm gonna just run the base command so you guys can get an idea of what it what it actually does as you can see this system has been up for about 19 hours and 30 minutes and then it shows how many users as well as the load average so you can check that out as well you know what I'm saying that it prints out that information for you. Now, the next command I wanted to show you guys is the DF command. Now, this is messing around with this. Um, and so this is a dish usage command. Uh, it's the basic one. Uh, if you've used Linux before, then you obviously know this. But let's go down and run the man page so you guys can see what DF is actually for. Press enter. It basically says it reports file system disk space usage. So let's press Q and pretty much anytime you're running like DF, uh, I believe you, ha you have to use the sudo command because you're working with disk, but I'm gonna just run it without running using sudo uh, and it should print out everything. And never mind, this one doesn't require you to have uh, sudo, but it's another command you, I know you have to use sudo in order to look at the system and it might be ls block which basically lists out the blocks uh so i think that's the one that that uses sudo but df like i said it'll show you the file system you know it shows you the blocks of the file system but it's in kilobytes so there are options to make it show how you want it to show so if you want to show it in like uh gigabytes or something you know you can show it that way it shows you the use space available space you know as well as the use percentage of each one of the drives so and then also you can see the mounted locations so this is each place that each one of these systems or devices or mounted file systems or or mounted so very simple command let's go down and clear the screen and the next one i want to show you guys is the uname command uh so let's run man and then uname and this one is basically used to show uh, kernel information. So as you can see, it says print system information, but I typically use it for kernel information. If I wanted to show kernel information, uh, so we could type uname. And what I, the way I always run it is uh, using dash A, and that'll print out everything. So let's press enter. Uh, and you can see the kernel. Uh, you'll see, you know, it's Linux. This is the host name right here. So I call this one Athena and then the kernel version, which is 5.14.7 uh, or it's Linux. So as you can see, and then uh, GNU Linux right there. So it just basically prints out the 
kernel information and i advise you guys to run this on your system that way it can pull up you know the information on your system using this command so scroll down to clear and go to the next one and the next one i want to show you guys is the w command now this won't really show much information unless you're i don't know working with a server or something that's that's one cool thing about this command is it's made for like a server where you have multiple users logging into it but it's the w command and it's you know like i said a very similar simple command uh w basically displays who's online on the system so as you can see let's read it it says show who is logged on and what they are doing so let's go down quit that right fast and type w so we can see what it actually shows and as you can see you'll see me i'm the only users on user on there the actual tty so i'm using tty7 uh log on that was the time i was logged on idle uh jcpu pcpu and what i'm actually doing so right now i have a xfce4 session which is the desktop environment that i use all right so let's go down and clear and i'll show you the next one and the next one is it it kind of ties to the w command but it basically shows who you are as a user on the system even though you know who you are based on you know the name right here josh at athena but it's basically who am i so let's run the man command on that so who am i and that's how that's the command name right there uh and basically says print effective user id so let's quit and then run it now so let's go who am i and press enter boom you'll see that you're josh and the next thing i want to show you guys let me go down and clear but basically let's say you want to find out where you are on the system as far as the directory that you're in currently and most of the time the default directory when you open up the terminal on whatever linux operating system you're on it's going to be your home directory but the way you find it out let's say you're uh, navigating around into different folders or whatever but you could use the pwd command so let's type man and then pwd press enter that'll give us uh the man page for it but it says print name of current working directory and that's what pwd stands for in my opinion is uh print working directory that's basically what it means so let's press q for quit and run it right fast and it'll print out the the full path of the directory that we're in as you can see i'm in home and josh that's what typically where your home directory is and if we go let's say we go into our music folder or something like that uh boom and if we go pwd press enter you'll see that we're under home josh and music so pwd is very important if you want to find out where you are within the linux file system as far as like directories and everything so let's cd and then let's clear and the last one i wanted to show you guys is the free command and this is basically to show memory and swap usage so if we type man and then free this will give us uh you know some memory information as you can see it says displays amount of free and used memory in the system so let's press q for quit and run the command right fast so free and press enter and that'll break everything out for you and i know you can get to it if you have htop installed that's part of the information that's provided within htop you know what i'm saying it just shows it in a in a better way you know you can see your memory and swap information there and it looks a whole lot better so that's a good way of actually getting it but if you want just a quick way of opening it up um currently you can just run free the free command and you get to go you can see the total the use the free you know the shared uh buffer cache and available so that's a very uh simple command and then just to throw in something else you can actually uh look at cpu information by just catting out specific files so i'll show you guys that right fast so cat and i believe it's props and then cpu info and let's tab it out press enter and that will give us the cpu information you can go through and i believe i showed this in another video but you can find your cpu information as you can see i have a amd ryzen 7 4800h with the radian uh graphics so 
that's what I have in my system, in my main system, my main laptop that I use every day. And then also, if you want to look at some uh, memory information, there is another file under Proct uh, called Mem Info. So let's tab that out, press enter, and it'll give us some more memory information, uh, which I'm not gonna go through. I just wanted to show it to you guys. This is how you actually get the information. And this is probably what the free command actually uses when pulling memory information. It basically just puts it in a format where you, you can easily read it with the different columns and all that stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully this helps new users that are just starting out playing around with the command line in your Linux operating system. But it's always best to practice. So just practice, 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 just find other commands and just run them, see what they do. You can read the man pages and get some information about how you can actually run it using different options so you can show things a little differently in the command line. But it's not that difficult once you understand what you're doing. So if you have any questions, leave comments down in the comment boxes below and go on and like and share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And of course, keep it techie.